Well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Hope all of you all having a great Thanksgiving. I got my Thanksgiving dinner up there in the oven, just waiting for the ham to finish warming up. And in about a half an hour, I am going to go ahead and throw down. I, I mean... You know, you know how I roll. You know how I roll. Whew. Let's just hope I'm not in a food coma before the Dallas Cowboys game. We're going to start our live stream about 3.30, so that way, uh, you know, we can talk a little bit about what's going on with the Cowboys. We can talk about this shit fest of a game, which is the Bears up 10 to 7, and uh, get ready for the Cowboys. So we all know about our defense, which has done – remarkable we've got unbelievably Micah Parsons with eight sacks I believe Micah Parsons has more sacks than anybody on our team since um hmm Robert Quinn Robert Quinn two years ago who had 11 um that would have been the last time we didn't have anybody last year with eight sacks nobody nobody even close so hats off to him he's already there with only 10 games under his belt we also have Diggs, who also we've got the eight and eight the cowboys are eight and eight eight sacks eight interceptions and Diggs has a little message for all the quarterbacks that he has intercepted let's go to the tape Action. Hello friends, my name is Aiden Diggs. Trayvon Diggs is my dad. He plays football for the Dallas Cowboys number seven. The Cowboys on Thanksgiving Day. The wonderful tradition. I love Thanksgiving. A day for food and family and football. Hi, Mr. Kara. Today I will give thanks to all the quarterbacks that throw my dad the football. Intercepted! Diggs is going to take it to the end zone! Unbelievable! You are all greatly appreciated. What a play by Diggs! Thank you very much! Good luck to both teams today, especially my dad's team. How about the Cowboys? Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! That is literally adorable. Yes. Thank you, quarterbacks who have thrown the ball to digs. We appreciate it. And today, as we get ready for the game here, um, this is an opportunity to get to eight wins. Um, you know, kind of that, that you know, get, getting close to that winning season and giving um, a little more space between your rivals in the division and putting a little pressure on the other teams, you know, cause we'll be able to kick back this weekend, but putting a little pressure on the other teams to try and keep pace, um, for that, uh, number one seat. Cause there's only one team that will rest that first week and also trying to get the home field advantage today. we know it's going to be a tough task. We got two players that need to be the spotlight today. Tony Pollard, Tony Pollard has an opportunity to really, 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 really take a stab at being the guy. Zeke Elliott has been pounded like crazy, hasn't missed time. He'll be there and things, but he's still nursing some injuries. You know, that knee and things, we've seen him kind of going down and just wondering how is it that he's still upright. This is an opportunity, especially with Tyron Smith back, for uh, Tony Pollard to really – show us that the yards per rush, where I believe he still leads the NFL, isn't a fluke, that he can do this on a regular basis. If it does, it'll go well towards the Cowboys getting a win. Then there's Michael Gallup. You know, we don't know what to make of Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup has been a great deep threat. He's been the number three the whole time he's been here, and this is the contract year. This is the opportunity for... Michael Gallup, be it here for the Cowboys or be it elsewhere, to really shine and get that big payday. If you come on here on Thanksgiving where everybody's watching, we, let, let's put it this way, there's no other game on. It's Thanksgiving. You've already had your meal 
um, watching the lines. Everybody gets their meal early. Everybody eats before 4.30. That's why, you know, they start the lines off at 12.30, and then they have the Cowboys at 4.30 to give you that window to get your dinner on before the Cowboys come on. So everybody's watching. And if you are Michael Gallup, you're either auditioning for somebody else or you're playing for that contract with the Cowboys. And since you don't have CeeDee Lamb um, and you don't have Amari Cooper, you are the guy. You're going to show somebody whether or not you can be the number one. And this can go a long way towards determining your future. Right now, we know Jerry Jones is not happy about Amari Cooper, you know, not being vaccinated and missing these two games. In fact, I bet Amari Cooper is not happy about missing this game either because this is against his former team, the Raiders. If Michael Gallup, you know, becomes the hero, if he can pull a Miles Austin here on Thanksgiving and have a great game, then you start saying, hmm, maybe it's CeeDee Lamb and Michael Gallup. At the moment, it seems to be Amari Cooper and CeeDee Lamb. One of those guys has got to be out because you don't have the money with all of the free agents that you have uh, coming up. You just don't have the money to keep everybody. You're going to have to make some hard decisions, and these are opportunities for you to stake your claim on a spot. Uh, There's Jared Goff doing Jared Goff things, fumbling the football. Fumbling the football to the Bears. After playing well to start the game, all of a sudden the Bears are imploding. Excuse me, the Lions are imploding, but that's what bad teams do. Oh, boy. You know, I spent about 12 Thanksgivings in Detroit at the game. And never once did I ever see the Lions actually win one. I saw Michael Vick come in there and get a victory. I saw Peyton Manning throw, I think, five touchdown passes. I saw Aaron freaking Rodgers a couple of times. I saw just about everybody go in there and light up the Lions. <sighs> Be thankful, Dallas Cowboy fans, that we are not the Detroit Lions. And I will see you guys in about... Mm, an hour and a half? Yeah, about an hour and a half. We'll start our live streams. I am Mark Holmes, and hope you have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. And I will see you real soon. Peace.